When you tell pupils about the real life application of bearings, they just don't seem to get it. So I was really pleased when I found a lesson on TES resources that inspired me to come up with my own real life context lesson on bearings. Rather than telling pupils about it, I got them to use the real life context of bearings. You're going to need compasses, but you can usually find them in the DAV cupboard or geography. You have to ask really nicely. Pupils worked in pairs. One of them had a compass and one of them had chalk. I'm going to call them Daisy and Harry so that you know who I'm going on about. So Daisy had a compass and Harry had the chalk. Harry had to draw two crosses on the ground. With Daisy's help, he then drew the north line from each of the crosses. They both stood on one of the crosses and Daisy used her compass to work out the bearing to get to Harry. Harry had to use his knowledge of angle facts to work out the bearing back to Daisy. The second activity was airport runways. Did you know that airport runways have bearings on each end of them so that pilots can land the plane at the right angle? They can line it up with the runway. They're rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. So I got pupils drawing runways all over the playground. They look fantastic and the pupils enjoyed it. They got really good at working out back bearings because the bearing at the end of the runway is the back bearing. To hone and practice their skills and get really, really fast at doing bearings and back bearings, they had me to you, you to me, speed bearings and back bearings. By the end of the lesson, they were really good at working out bearings and back bearings. They completely understood what they were and how to use them. I think it works best in the playground but you can do it in a small classroom, which I have done with a smaller class. You could use masking tape or meter rulers instead of chalk on the ground. There's plenty of scope for enriching and extending this even further. If you've got any more ideas, I'd love to hear them.